Hello guys, welcome back to TSD's Musing on Sports Story N. This is me Prathamesh and uh, along with me is Siddharth Rege. We are going to talk about one Indian all-rounder today, Hardik Pandya. What is up with him and what next can potentially happen with Hardik? As you guys would already know that Hardik is not going to go to the England tour. Neither for the WTC final nor for the test series that's going to be taking place in England five match series. struggled really uh, way too much in the IPL you know there were times when overarm throws was a big big problem for Hardik struggled with the bat as, bat as well uh, sir first of all i mean just to start off with hardik the issue that has been very visible in that world cup year as well and i think even before that it's it just keeps on building up one way or the other it's it's like there is no way that that issue just comes to an end is there something that's going wrong with the entire recovery process have they rushed hardik or is hardik himself a little bit to blame for where he stands right now uh you know see if uh, people who are watching this video would have uh, watched rts the lives so they would have one thing that they would have noticed is that i uh, criticize hardik pandya a lot and that's because you know you feel that much for him and yeah. the kind of player that he is and you being an indian you know where when was the last time you had a batting all rounder who could fast who could basically pick it pick up five wicket hauls in england uh, referring yeah. to the 2018 series uh they probably couple they <laughs> we love you have to yeah. go that far i can't i can't yeah. think of anyone in in between so exactly. that's how much you feel for that player as an indian fan and that extra special uh, bond because you are a mumbai indian fan as well uh so that's why you do you want to protect him as much as possible because 100% hardik pandya for me is the best all rounder in the world uh because he is as effective as he is with the ball as he is with the yeah. bat uh there's absolutely no doubt with it uh but the problem i think a worry at this conjecture is uh after you look at those under arm throws as you mentioned yeah. uh in the ipl because that clearly shows that he is not 100% at all and uh, there is a problem and uh, if that's the case as I, i mean i don't blame the msk prasad at all uh, when he says yeah. that uh, if you you want hardik pandya to be 100% with the ball and with the bat if he is only 100% with the bat you probably ra- rather play ravindra jadeja and in yeah. the top 6 getting in the top 6 at this moment is looks very tough probably isn't even exactly. first in line uh, looking at surya kumar yadav and you know, the kind of talent that we have so at this moment i you i don't want to say that he should be resting um, because you don't know because his injury was initially the back injury and then it yeah. spread to i mean that's the i mean that's the theory that uh, you know his other muscles have been strained and that's why his shoulder is now showing uh, the impact of that back injury uh so the rest for me yes but whether that that's is the it. solution i am worried because uh man it doesn't look good for him does it so yes i think yes you're right uh, you know hardik's injury is like parallel issue you talk about the back injury that he had the surgery and then the shoulder so there these are these are quite complicated issues and he doesn't look good at all you know as it stands we saw him bowling with the pink ball before the pink ball test and we thought that okay hardik's getting back to fitness but that has never really worked out even during the england series while he was bowling in the t20s it looked like he was struggling with something was hardik in his prime he bowls in the 140s and he has that very good knack of you know producing some really brilliant slow deliveries and taking wickets but yes uh, the future is what i think a lot of people are concerned with hardik uh, potentially one of the things that i have been reading in the you know in the media right now is that hardik will be considered for the uh, series against sri lanka in sri lanka for the limited over series uh, he might he might also be a potential front runner or if not a front runner at least a potential captain uh for the indian team uh the team management have also you know thought about him shikhar dhawan along with uh, a couple other candidates although shikhar for me personally should be there but do you i mean it's good that on one side that the indian team is looking at hardik pandya as a potential leader because i think mumbai indians have brought that aspect of hardik pandya forward quite well 
but then isn't it worrying because hardik pandya even if he does go to the t20 world cup what i personally feel is if india has to take hardik he has to bowl there is no way that hardik pandya should be playing as a proper batsman because we have although hardik is really really explosive i think we have too many explosive batters right now uh, maybe not with the same caliber that hardik can hit every ball into the crowd but i think we have enough players who can play the balancing act and also can you know take the acceleration when required so we probably don't require the specialist hardik pandya as a batter anymore the resurgence of jadeja has probably even ensured that even further that we have enough batting uh, depth as an all-rounder as well but for me the worrying part is as as a hardik pandya fan that what happens next because even if he does play in sri lanka and he doesn't look completely fit the series will happen in june or july and he doesn't look completely fit for me personally i feel that whenever the next ranji season starts hardik pandya has to aim for that first i know this is i know this is something that probably hardik might have not thought but if he can play like four four five ranji games at a trot i think that will be the best way for hardik to regain complete match fitness rather than you know try making his experiments on the international stage or play practice all the time with the indian team because in the indian team you can have as much practice as you want but there's a difference between match practice and a player who is in good form you saw with prithvi shaw in the ipl right a player who is in very good form domestically took it up in the ipl and i think there are multiple examples like that so with hardik i feel that this is one way that hardik can potentially make a comeback into the test team maybe not soon but probably towards the you know the fag end of next year and i think that's how he has to aim because his injury like from the back has moved to the shoulder you don't want it to you know move on to the legs as well you know with the too much pressure then you know that he would put on his legs to generate the pace because his back and his shoulder are already gone you don't want the legs to go down either you think that works for hardik or anything that i think you would go off the track to say I think Pratamesh have had it uh, absolutely bang on because uh, uh, you know the example that you said with Prithvi Shaw, uh, who is obviously younger, but uh, yeah. once he, once he was out of contention in that Test team, you know, uh, since that point of time, uh, the revival considering the talent that's competing against him looked a looked something uh, uh, not out of reach, but uh, uh, not in his on his side. Uh, but he managed yeah. to do it because of his brilliant, uh, brilliant, brilliant season at the Vijay Hazar. Uh, yeah. Maybe that could be one route for Hardik Pandya, but I don't think it's gone that far. I think uh, the Sri Lanka series uh, and the T20 World Cup, T20 World Cup yeah. mainly to cement his place uh, as a as a T20 player because uh, I think most people will agree with me that he is a much bigger asset with the white ball than he is the best player. Uh, yeah. Considering that he maybe cannot ball at the same level as uh, he used to before, uh, so yeah. probably if he wa- if look at in tests, uh, what role do you see Hardik Pandya playing in the future? Uh, is he going to be the all rounder? Uh, that's uh, that's what's that again? Nay, what role do you see Hardik Pandya playing in the test team, Master Chal? Huh. So, what role do you see Hardik Pandya playing in the Test team? You know, after considering that he won't be able to uh, bowl at the same level that he used to, is he? If he, if you look at him as a as a number five or number six batsman, what is the competition over there? You know, uh, yeah. it's probably a Rishabh Pant, a Hanuma Bhairi is not even going to probably play play in the WTC final. Uh, yeah. Rahane has probably seen the best of his days uh, behind him. But uh, for a Hardik Pandya to become someone like a Rahane, you have to improve uh, a set of skills that you don't probably don't have right now. Yeah. Right. Uh, the yeah. closest is Rishabh Pant, who I don't see going out of the sport for a while now, considering no the worries. Gaba, the Gaba breach. Yeah. So and the uh, series against England. So for right now, I think the best way of seeing Hardik Pandya into the team uh, in Test cricket. could be as an all-rounder but uh, you know he has he has much more competition yeah. there considering he cannot ball at the same level uh, in the form of washington sundar in the form of ravindra jadeja in the form of even shardul thakur you know they they've been excellent in the recent uh, in the recent test series uh, both yeah. in england and australia so 
in i think that's a bit far fetched right now to test cricket but uh, uh, with white ball he's definitely going to be picked for the t20 world cup a fit hardik pandya whether he is not the same level as a bowler definitely plays a yeah. t20 squad also said so, that's the question again yeah. right is he fit enough I mean that question that just keeps circling to that one thing is hardik fit enough because yeah. if hardik's fit enough you don't have to even talk about all of these you know x y z factors or is he good enough to bowl four overs is he is he going to bat with the same way because hardik pande when is fit he's going to give you two three good overs and he's going to give you like those 20 x factor runs in a match that you might need to win the game or those 40s and those 50s or even those 90s that sometimes that you might need of hardik he will give you that every year but the question is hardik pande's utility is as an all rounder right you just can't select him for as a batsman Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, to to talk about his utility as an all all rounder, he is currently your your best hope to be someone a player, not similar to, not even close to, but a uh, a uh, how would I say a uh, uh, a look a uh, skill set wise look alike to Andrew Prefield or Fred Jackson. I'm not talking about what they've done in their careers yeah. in terms of performance, but but the kind of player that he is. Who do you have other than him? You have a Shivam Dubey who's who's miles no. away from him. You have a Vijay Shankar probably who's who's not even in contention right now. So he is according to him. Well, uh, I we'll have to do an entire other video <laughs> on what goes wrong when a player tries to be smart in the media. That's that's a different issue. But uh, for Hardik Pandya, you know, uh, I mean, I uh, we are talking about his his career revival at this point, almost, you know, yeah. as as far as the Indian team is concerned. I don't see him probably. Hopefully, everything goes well and he's able to bowl those four overs in the T20 World Cup. But he let's let's just remember that he's someone who couldn't even do overarm throws in the IPL. Yeah, yeah. And, ठीक है, he bowled those four overs against England consistently, but man, a player who's not even being able to do overarm throws, even if he manages to bowl those four overs in different games in the T20 World Cup, what after yeah. that? You know, what if exactly. he, as you said, what if the shoulder injury turns into a, a, something that happens to the legs? Or yeah. you know, considering the amount of strain that he's going to be putting in that sense. So, I mean, you know, Hardik Pandya. we talk about his bowling we we have spoken about his bowling but his yeah. batting is not a weakness or or, or the he is yeah. a batting all rounder let's just remember that he yeah. he always was a batting all rounder he evolved himself as a bowler so he's not just a pinch hitter he's he's given you those long innings he has a test uh, century as well uh, yeah uh, despite being played or 10 15 games so he we saw what hardik pandya can do he's a match winner you know we saw yeah. it against australia recently we saw it when he emerged in in the 2017 final the champions trophy final so yeah. i if he if you want a hardik pandya to focus more on his batting skill set i think he can do that he is because he he is an excellent fielder as well let's not forget that in spite the i think i hope that the overarm throw thing is not going to stay for long yeah but he is an excellent fielder yeah so even if he has to focus less on his bowling and become a batting all rounder i don't think he is i mean he obviously won't be that that big an x factor we can, but he can still be a very very good player you know uh, in test cricket you know test cricket right now at least for some time he is not in contention but wide ball cricket definitely definitely he he plays uh, Uh, as yeah. much as many games as possible because as you said he's some someone who can uh, come in those 40th over uh, in that 40th yeah. over and absolutely turn the match around as he is someone who can come around the 20th over and play that long innings as well yeah. you know uh, you probably need something like that since msd is not in the picture right now uh, jadeja is someone but you don't rely on jadeja as much as you did on mahendra singh dhoni so you yeah. probably to replace mahendra singh dhoni in the lower you batting order you need two players yeah yeah who so he gives i think he still gives the best shout to be picked in white ball cricket and test cricket i mean as i said it's a tough one you feel know, yeah, for him so much yeah but doesn't look like there was a point when hardik was a 
you know undroppable even in the test team and you know now now there is this genuine problem because washington sundar is batting is also impressed a lot of people who knows he might be someone they might consider at a number 6 or number 7 in the future as an all-round yeah. option but just like one final thought that just went through my head when i was talking about hardik is what the mumbai indians do with him next year is is there even a little bit of a doubt in your head that considering that hardik is having this perennial issues with injuries if this continues until january when mumbai indians have to make decisions will they think about him uh, because there are players like i don't with and mumbai for an obvious pick yeah De- depends on how many players uh, they allow uh, to be uh, retained but uh, yeah. even if that's not the case i think we should i think mumbai indians should still go out all out for hardik pandya because uh, there aren't many who can replace what he does <laughs> even uh, at, at definitely not in india and not then no other overseas uh, all rounder is probably on. ben so, stokes as, probably but rajasthan would retain him so that's out of the box yeah yeah exactly rajasthan would retain the ben stokes but uh, uh, i mean uh, we've had You've seen so many teams have this eternal problem of lower middle orders, you know, SRS. Yeah. Everything was all right with their team, but look at what difference that underperforming lower order did. Even for Mumbai Indians, where these guys are not performing. Yeah. There's too many teams who have that doubt. RCB, for as a matter of the fact. Chennai have yeah. never had that problem. But look at, almost every other team has this problem. Probably a KKR doesn't as well. So, you know you 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 need to have hardik pandya back at home bend and if if you seek that kind of a domination as well because uh, uh, this this polard hardik runal trio you know yeah. in that 5 6 7 spot they've done they've, they've they've made the side the best ever t20 side or the arguably the best t20 side so if, i don't think they're going to retain him but uh, they still have to go all out for him in the market there's no other way of uh, of uh, you know having a uh, similar competence in that lower middle order absolutely and yeah that's that's our few signs on hardik pandya first of all i mean massive uh, you know best wishes to hardik because i think all indian fans regardless of you know their allegiances towards certain players and probably not towards them but all of us want hardik to get well soon and you know come to his prime form because i think he relieves a lot of pressure on you know either captains made be in the one day uh, setup or made be in the test match setup as well you know he is a massive asset in all formats the game is fielding as said has been talking about is is brilliant we saw that even with a injured shoulder he took some really good catches in the IPL so he is an all-rounder of the highest class and probably you know probably one of the best that in- india has at this point of time along with ravindra jadeja so you know massive wishes to him hopefully he gets well soon and we can see the prime hardik pandya Stay tuned to the Sports Show and we will be covering more of such content. Thank you and we will see you soon.